What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Coffee Shots. In today's video, we're gonna look at how we can match the body of your model to her face, especially with a female model when she's wearing makeup. Let's get right into it. In such a situation, you notice that particularly, you're gonna find the face of the model looking a little bit brighter than the skin. Many a time, most makeup artists are unable to really match the skin tone to the foundation or the color of the foundation that they choose sometimes they may not have exactly the skin tone of the model other times they just cannot match it even if they have the right pigment color and that's where we photographers and editors come in to fix the issue all right so the first thing that we are going to do over here i actually fixed the face over here on this layer but let me quickly delete it and start afresh all right so this is actually color graded and after I color graded it in Lightroom, I realized that because the sun was coming from the right hand side of the camera towards the subject, her face actually got so much lit and her back is actually obstructed by her body. All right. But if you look at the arm, you notice that the arm is in the same direction as the face. And uh, one issue I see over here is that it is of the same exposure as the back as is supposed to be with the face. So let's quickly look at the colors that we can find in here and try and match it up to the body. You can either darken the face or you can choose to brighten up the dark areas. But let's look at them individually and see what will work best. So first of all, I'm going to target the face and try and dim it down to the exposure of the skin. All right, so what I'm gonna do first of all is to select the very topmost layer and I'm gonna hit on this to create a curves layer. And uh, with my curves layer created, I'm going to pull it down from the center all the way down so that it reduces uh, the exposure a little bit. So I'm going to invert the mask and uh, I'm gonna zoom into the shot and paint with a white brush on the black mask. All right, so let's do that. I'm gonna zoom in into the picture further and open up my brush size with a flow of 100 and with an opacity of 100 i'm going to brush on it with my Wacom tablet pen and dim it all the way down something close to you know the exposure of the body all right so you notice that this is quite on row because it has made her face too much underexposed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the opacity of the effect and uh, find a sweet spot okay so I realized that we are matching the body just quite a bit. All right, to the face. All right, and that is one way you can solve it. Equally, let us take this off and uh, get it back to how it was. And this time you're going to rather match the body to the face in terms of the exposure, okay. So I'm gonna again create a curves layer and this time I'm gonna push it upwards to create some exposure in there and I'm going to invert the mask like we did before and with a white brush this time because the area of the body is in this particular area we find so much um, spots of the beach you might risk brushing into those areas so sometimes it's best to use a flow of uh, less than 100 of course if for instance you're using your mouse to do this but because i'm using a pen for my graphic tablet i can reduce the amount of pressure and i can regulate how much i exert on the pen okay so you notice that after i've been able to bring in the exposure we are matching up to the skin quite a little bit okay all right and of course, because our brush size was a little bit too big, we're going to invert to a black brush and bring back the low exposure of the beach so that it doesn't affect the body of the model. So at the edges, take your time and brush back the right exposure. And that's basically how that can be done. But personally, I prefer working with reducing the exposure of the face okay and that's actually does it you can also go a step further by introducing a color into the shot all right so for instance in this area of the face you notice that 
there's a little bit more yellow in the skin area than you find over here in her back all right so what i see basically is that if there's too much yellow i can introduce a bit of red okay so i'm gonna go into my color balance and with midtones or probably highlights whichever you prefer they both quite work similarly preferably i'm gonna choose the midtones and uh, make sure that my mask is on white so i can bring in the effect and see it happening visually so i'm gonna push in the red a little bit okay into the skin area and uh, i'm going to bring back my curves of the skin so that it matches a bit more to the back all right so i'm going to invert the color balance and paint in the red i introduced into the skin okay of course you notice that it's too much and it looks unreal so with the opacity we can reduce how much effect it has and you notice that we have actually dialed down the browns and the yellows in there with a bit more magenta and basically that's how i match skin tones of the face to the body if for instance your makeup artist doesn't really do a good job or is unable to find the right color for the skin so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that every time i upload a new video over here on my youtube channel you'll be the first to see it until the next video i'm gonna catch you later have a wonderful day see ya